future here so obviously what where's the bell what is going on here <laughs> oh okay. and a bit of beer swilling outside in the true bar barroom brawl fashion and the bell is officially rung here looming over the rickshaw theater what is that bell sounds like a church from hell <laughs> well indeed the world has gone to hell it is the wrestleocalypse after all And the match has started on the outside, what? hasn't even gone into the ring yet. And Mr. Ferguson is hightailing it. As wow. Sharif is, he Whoa, just stole he someone's beer. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, spraying on the table. Oh, oh kick my. to the midsection. And the beers are flying. Okay, oh, Sharif's doing it. Oh, my oh, God. More what? disrespect what? all over <laughs> the crowd <laughs> of the Rickstop Theater. Has he any respect we for are everyone? Covered in beer as well. That is disgusting. Second hand. out of hand already a little bit maybe um well, i'm telling you robocop would thrive in this lawless future that is the rickshaw here the wrestleocalypse the doors are locked there is no getting out no until... escape <laughs> a jackie lee oh. on the outside caught there a choke slam on the apron by mr fergus so, what school's in motherfuckers 
the referees are doing their job here. Oh, no, Jackie, no. No, Jackie. Are you serious right now? Oh, and the no. referee just watches on. He's put a little bit of rug burn on it, Jackie Lee there. In the form of a classic elementary school noogie. But Jackie Lee's fighting back here. He's got Mr. Pesky against the ropes and a counter there. Whoa. Oh, my. Sharif looking for the tag here as the onslaught of Mr. Oh, Pesky oh and Mr. My Ferguson. God. Winding up with the old ball game. Oh! oh! Right in the face! But Jackie Lee, the lawless, just continues here. And Mr. Ferguson up top here with Jackie. Keeps the Pop-Tarts on the top shelf, feeding him the beating. So nonchalant. Boom. Pretty clear the crowd is not digging that at all, let me tell you right now. Oh. Jackie Lee off the ropes here. Oh! Pancake straight onto the cold canvas. The cold, cold blood stained canvas. For many victims long ago in a world that was full of law and, and happiness. dry cleaners. No <laughs> longer. Joy. The stains are here to stay. And the corpse of Jackie Lee is strewn about here as Mr. Peskigan oh. a classic suplex there. And he's Whoa. going for the cover on Jackie Lee. Oh, two And count. Sharif saves the day. A cordial, cor cordial is the word cordial wave from Sharif on the sidelines. The timing is key. The tag in there. Mr. Pesca, Mr. Ferguson. Whoa! Oh, the meow meow goes Mr. Ferguson. The claws have been leaked. <laughs> oh, wiping his ass. With, oh, my goodness. This is inappropriate. Now, this guy is sick. What did Jackie Lee ever do to deserve this? Vinny, I don't think he did anything to deserve this. I think this is uncalled for. Oh, a big axe handle on Jackie Lee there. And Sharif is pining for the tag here as the onslaught continues in the middle of the ring. Oh. Jackie Lee with a bit of a counter. Whoa. Through to the midsection. And using Mr. Petsky as a battering ram. Oh. Oh. And an <laughs> ingenuity tag team action. And Sharif's on, up Sharif. top. Sharif. Yeah. Oh, it caught uh. on the crossbody. Mr. Ferguson is too oh. strong, too big, too strong. And more disgrace. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Pesky going in. <laughs> Quick ticket by Sharif. That's right, Call Sharif, that you one. fucking show him what's up. Sharif with double time. Gets that spinning drop kick and a kip up. And he's fired up here at the rickshaw tonight. Ferguson is damaged in the corner as Sharif goes back up for a little action. Oh, no big deal. Oh, that, that springboard stunner maneuver there. Absolutely beautiful by Sharif. Part of reloading. Melody is still in the first match. I can't imagine what's coming up on this card. Whoa. Sharif. He's putting the boots down now. Does bring with the cover? No. Oh. And Pesky with a quick save. Quick digging, and Jackie Lee is just coming back into play here. He's taking a nap on the outside. Tired so early. Now look at this. Oh, oh my. Oh. And that Pesky just might be Sharif it. Pesky takes Sharif and pins Jackie Lee with a quick digging on Mr. Pesky. Come on, Jackie. Jackie Lee. Oh. 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 here, Pesky. Don't come near Jackie us. Lee on the outside with a counter that elbow to the face of Mr. Ferguson. Oh. Jackie Lee! Oh. <laughs> yes. Springboard! But he was caught. And that's going for the cover there. Cover. Sharif once again in the nick of time. To sustain them from a win. Come on, Sharif. Look at this! Oh. Look at a tilt to world DDT there by Sharif. Sharita, <gasps> double super kick, sending Pesky into the next universe. <laughs> the crowd is moving out of the way for this one.
on, folks. And the dispersion. Oh my gosh, four rows of people, five rows of people moving out of the way. I think something might be happening. The dispersion of the crowd, oh Jack Oh, thrown. And the coffin <laughs> drop. Huge coffin drop by Jackie Lee. Ferguson's going for a choke slam, but it's countered by Sharif with a super kick. Whoa. And another super kick, and he's got him almost dead to rights. Come on. Oh. Reloaded, taking on Mr. Ferguson. Loading up those Come knees, oh. and that's a win for Team Reloaded. other over that sad, sad little loss. Their heads are gone, but the douchebaggery remains. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. The first contender making her way to the ring. She is the Wet Coast Bruiser, Bambi. Was a also a flame wrestler, wrestler as well. in the past as well. So coming from a yes, the jeans unparalleled. The Look at her. Jeans are air. Wow. Shaking. Oh. oh. <laughs> A disrespect to Mr. Joe King by Bambi Hall, starting off with a bang. Look at this. And Joe King is fuming. Look at him in the corner. Look at this shit. Her opponent is the matron saint of WrestleCore. The matron the saint. The raunchy rock and roller. Everyone's favorite Mills. Give it up for Calamity. She's Bang. definitely my favorite Mills. The most enter stage left here. Wow. And as Cobra Sky said, everyone's favorite milk, the Rushy Rock and Roll Off. About to put on a serious fight yes. for Bambi Hall. She's here to fuck it up. Oh! Oh my oh, god! My goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow! I wish I could do that. You can, you just gotta wear a chastity belt. Ah. I heard it's not, it's not a good idea without one of those. Yeah. Can you believe she had a kid here months ago? Joe King was saying, ring the bells, the lawlessness once again continues. That's the theme of the night here, obviously. Because chaos reigns. It is the Wrestleocalypse. There is no order where we are. That's done. Yeah, there's over 200 pounds of mustache and muscle, Mr. Joe King. Calling it like he sees it here. A minute, Joe King, take your hands off of them. Move your the hands you think somewhere is going else. They've got shoulders. Come on, man. Uncalled for, Mr. Joe King. What do you think you're doing? I don't think he is thinking, Vinny. Well, he might be thinking now because he's about to get beaten oh. by the crowd. Oh my! Under the roll-up, already to cover by Calamity King. Whoa. Swing and a miss by Bambi Hall. 
stiff forearms by the raunchy rock and roller. Ah, chopped in the chest here. Calamity Kate, a little cartwheel and has put the boots to Bambi Hall here. Oh. One more and a splash over the cover again, Joe King. Single in the two count. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for being with us tonight. I am Vinny the Voice, and next to me is Magnum. Magnum! Mel, Mel Roach. Roach. Bambi all going for this lap. Maybe underselling herself a little bit. I, uh... Oh, there she is. Lamity Kate quit to reverse that one. Kick to the chest. Whoa. And she's got her in the sins up top of Bambi Hall with the power. Look at this! What a <laughs> sit down bomb! <laughs> Absolutely folding Calamity Kate in half with a cover, and that's just not enough to put her away. And Bambi Hall thought she had that one in the bag, did she not, Mel? It looks like Bambi Hall's about to lay the boots to some unsuspecting victims there at the Rickshaw Theater tonight. She can put the boots to Calamity Kate, but we all know Calamity Kate is very, very resilient here. She's not going to give up that easy. Oh my God. Oh. Oh God. Look her by the hair. That's dirty. What's she doing? Oh, not the pretty face. Leave it alone. Anything but the face. That is the motto of professional wrestling. More devastation. Tits, teeth, and my pretty, pretty face. Oh my. And Bambi Hall thought she had that one in the bag once again with the cover and a close fall. Ref keeping an eye on the situation here. The beating continues. Emmy Hall sending her into the corner here. She's going for the clothesline, but Calamity Kate returns fire and drives her face into the mat. And that's a cover there. Surprising, almost a near fall there. Bambi Hall was phased by the attack of the raunchy rock and roll out, Calamity Kate. Off the ropes These there. These are some well-matched opponents. Very, very equal. Wow. My thoughts exactly. Oh. Bambi Hall! <laughs> and look at the confident pin. Just one foot on the chest. And she was confident that she had that one in the bag. That is simply not going to cut it here. Bambi shoving Kate in the face. Let's see how Kate takes that. And the disrespect continues. Kate's fighting back some boots to the midsection. And for some strikes, That's Bambi Hall is a clever opponent. And she's doing just that by sweeping the legs of Calamity Kate. That leg drop there. And she might be going for the cover as Joe King counts two. Not e of. And yes, we will be looking out here to make sure there is no funny business by the referees in this lawless land. Come on. And Bambi Hall looking for a big splash there. Kate is too fast for her. Too fast, too furious. More like three fast, three furious, wrestle for Destroy Wrestling 3. Wrestling I love it! it. Bambi Hall is dead to rights here. It's Calamity Kate. They're getting tired. Honestly, I think these are some very well-matched opponents. They're, it's really hard to say what I think the outcome will be. Well, the opponents are visibly gassed, but Calamity Kate's got a little up in the tank there. A spinning elbow there, drop kick to Bambi Hall. Kate is laying it all on the canvas right now. And she's charging up with the power. Wow, the crowd's got a favorite. And that cartwheel right into the corner there, putting oh. Bambi Hall down. 
And she's still got lots of fight left her here. And look at this, huge suplex by Calamity Kate. And she's gonna go for the pin there on Bambi Hall. Two. Oh, so close. It's so close you can taste it. And you know, I gotta say, so far, so good. It looks like the referees are doing their jobs. I'm still not sold on this. And Bambi Hall. Wow. Going around the world there. <laughs> what a huge Samoan drop. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it as well, Vinny. Is the crowd chanting, we want MILFs? They are chanting, we want MILFs. Uh, I want MILFs. I think I everyone mean, can so be a fan of MILFs. I think, I think I also want MILFs. Magna Mel, please don't lie to me. I thought we were friends. <laughs> you know I love a MILF, Vinny. <laughs> and they're going top shelf here as the battle continues on the top rope there. And Calamity Kate is fighting for possession and Bambi Hall as well. But Calamity Kate <laughs> gets the best of that one and puts Bambi Hall down. Wow. And looking for something really big. Calamity Kate has her sights set on Bambi Hall with that beautiful crossbody and the cover. Two, three. Oh, and Calamity Kate did. Oh, you 
better be ready for combat, Shreds. Daddy is playing them on. Oh, oh, my God, oh I knew it. All right, you know what? I should have known it about. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Thank you. The bell is actually from a ghost church, as you may not know. Ghost church? A ghost church. That's frightening. In the Wrestleopolis. I'll tell you a story about a ghost church later. It's actually on... Uh, my wife's family farm property. What? Yeah, we went in there, found a crucifix with thorns on it, never Wait. returned. Fuck that. What? Hey, we'll we'll have to revisit this after the match because I need to know. And we're gonna need an exorcist here after Shred's soul was pushed <laughs> out of his body by the power of Malik Mello. And here's a jocker wow. position here about suplex. They're struggling for it. Well, uh, Malik Mello is. Oh, 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 oh Get yeah. the best of that one with a huge Vertical suplex. Suplex by Malik Mello. Pinning shreds. Maybe it's all done here. Nope. <gasps> Once again, they call him the young, black, and gifted Malik Mello here against your favorite boyfriend, Shreds. Whoa. My mom's favorite boyfriend, not me, honey. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Is he taken by 150 women? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I've seen him on Twitter. <laughs> they don't even know it. <laughs> okay, what, oh. are you, what are you talking about, Shreds? Relax. You know, Shreds has a healthy disrespect for the fans here at the Rickshaw Theater. I'm Vinny the Voice, and this is the very wonderful Magdam Paws. Mel Roach. Absolutely, and this is our third match of the evening here at the Wrestleocalypse. And wow. the chaos has continued here. What? In a square circle. Is that circle. allowed? Is that allowed? Get back in the corner so I can ask if it's allowed. Refi Mark, he's unsure of what's going on. Oh, yep, nope, he's on it, he's on it. This has just become commentary now about referee Mark. I'm lying. Oh. Referee Mark here is <laughs> waiting for some action as shreds. Oh. Puts him in the honey baked hams of Malik Mello. <laughs> and look at this, going for a quick pin, but that's not happening. Malik Mello's got all the weight. Oh. And he's got shreds. Look at the power of the throat. Come on, these big boys throwing beef over here. Shreds throwing bombs here. Malik Mello's taking down a peg. What's that song? Tell your boyfriend if he says he's got beef. Look at that Italian, power! But I will eat beef tonight, baby. Power move, power pin. Thought he'd put him away. A Malik there sustains the damage and managed to get out of that one clean at a two. And referee Mark is letting Shreds know that that was what we saw was a two count. A By two the way, count. Shreds. Okay, throwing him out of the ring. The first several rows, they are getting out of the way. And the crowd once again scurrying like rats here in the back alley of Vancouver, BC. And what do we got oh, here lined Mark up? getting out of the ring. You know what, hard to see from this vantage point. Far top action. You know what, I might, can I stand up? We can, can stand. stand up here? Are you standing up too? Oh, oh it's sending him. <laughs> Sending him like a five pin bowling alley here. Into All the, the chairs. Pins have been knocked over. The crowd is going a little bit nuts here. It looks like the reserve seats are no more. There will be standing for There's the rest of the evening. Standing room only. Malik Mello coming in hot. The crowd. And Malik Mello has got some. A power slam position here. Whoa. And he couldn't get all of that as Shreds escapes that one. Can't we all just get along here in this this mid-apocalyptic land of the Wrestleocalypse? The answer is no, folks. No, we cannot. There will be unthinkable, unforeseen events. Much like we're going to see here on the outside here. As Shreds is not getting any love from the crowd here at the Rickshaw tonight. And yes, a healthy distaste for the man. Wow. As the action returns to the ring Came here. The ring. And it's a cover there. Count. Not enough, not enough at all. He 
You want to talk about evenly matched here? We got two powerhouses in the ring tonight. Big, big, thick boys. Big and meaty, meaty boys. I love me some meat. I don't. <laughs> in this instance, I'll make an exception for my mom and her two boyfriends. Whoa. Uh, here's clothesline. <laughs> Wow, I would not want to get clotheslined by Malik Mello. That is too much, man. No, it's like getting clotheslined by a fallen fucking tree. And that is absolute devastation there. Wow. And Malik's oh. winding up here. Splash in the corner on shreds. And look at that Whoa. big slam by Malik Mello. And he's definitely going for the cover. It is frightening to see people throwing each other around like that. And, uh, something else entirely. The sheer power there. Wow. It looks like a little bit of uh, craziness on the stage there as daddy issues. <laughs> they're just having a party of their own up there. They're, they're enjoying this in their own entire way and I love that for them. I mean, they're living Mad Max Fury Road. Wow. Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> and speaking oh, of bringing the thunder, going on. Malik Mello. Coming up big with some serious pellets on that top rope there as Shreds is pleading for his life. Come on, old school. By the man himself, Malik Mello. Shreds was paralyzed by fear there as Malik Mello was walking the tightrope. Oh, we're looking for something big. Whoa. Could it be? Could it be? It stretches fighting back. No! Oh. Oh. Quit thinking. Pummeling the midsection of Malik Mello in the corner. Oh, slapping oh, him my. across the face. Disrespect there, but look at this. Huge <laughs> cutter off the top. That could be it. Shreds has got the cover! Oh and, my it God. and it was! And it was! losing to Shreds! Oh my goodness! Massive move off the top! That cutter there by Shreds! And he doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself and maybe the 150 ladies that are in his back pocket at any given time. I'm telling you, you tell your mother to run from that man. <laughs> I will. She's too good for him. I will. Malik Mello on the other hand. That's Whoa. the stuff. to the ring by the clandestine society. Oh my God. There are only three things in this life that are certain. Death, taxes, and tearing from accounting. Well, taxes are due in April, June for me. I'm a self proprietor. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, Mr. Over here. Big Shot. <laughs> I mean, I'll get away with what I can. Uh, this is a note for a CRA. Uh, I pay all of my taxes in full, and I do not cheat the system. Well, it's no surprise that the Clandestine Society is always lurking around here, always looking for opportunity yes. to put one of their member, I'm oh, sorry, their fellow cult members over. You gotta be some type of Rottweiler to want to fight this lady. Introducing her opponent from right here in Vancouver, the Rottweiler, Elliot Tyler! One of my original favorites when I started wrestling. Nope, started watching wrestling. <laughs> Almost 10 years ago. 
And you know if there's any stiff competition that'll be up for Taryn from accounting, the Rottweiler's gonna bring the heat tonight. You better believe it. You'd better believe it. Can I have my own gift one day? Yeah, you can. You Thank can have whatever you. you want, Mel. Life goes on, and so will this match. The bell has been rung. Taryn and again. from accounting. We had a false start there on the bell. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Taryn coming in hot. Speaking of Rottweilers there. A quick attack there. Wow. And she's already going for something big. But Good for Elliot her. Elliot Tyler counters. You got to go with for what you want. Taryn showing that strength and prowess. Wow. Off the ropes coming there. Coming off the ropes. Swing and a miss. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> double down. Double clothesline. And that's going to sting. Guys, guys, wrestling is nuts, guys. Look at this. Oh, and they do it again. That's just uncomfortable. That hurts. Well, you know, in a perfect world, you'd hope that it hits the chest, but that looked like across the trachea, <laughs> so they may die. Wow. Oh, my. And Joe Kay has started the doomsday You know clock. what? He is not messing around. Taryn from accounting, a member of the clandestine society, and the Rottweiler, oh. Elliot Tyler. Are slow oh, to get up here. The way. Yeah, these guys, they've. And this is an exercise Come in on. obedience! Oh. As Elliot Tyler with a suicide dive on the outside. I was saying, an exercise in obedience, the crowd is being trained here yeah. to move the hell out of the way yeah. when these maniacs are going for the kill on the outside. Elliot Tyler is fighting for the honor of WrestleCore and Taryn for the clandestine society. Wow. Mr. Joe King, the referee, and Elliot Tyler is not stoked on that. Joe Whoa, King is fighting is back. What is Joe King doing? That's bold. He's a ref. Well, too bold to hold, too hot to touch. Wow. But Taryn will touch Elliot Tyler. And oh throw my him God. into the ropes there. <laughs> Slingshot him into the center of the ring. Incredible stuff. Tossing here. him out. Like yesterday's <laughs> recycling. Wow. I don't actually recycle. What? We're gonna start our own brawl right here, Vinny. <laughs> Keep talking that nonsense. Just recycle, guys, okay? It's not hard to. Tear with that nice quick Whoa. elbow drop of speed and ferocity. And Elliot Tyler's feeling the heat right now. Come on, Taryn. Wait, are we supposed oh. to be unbiased or, or are we allowed to take sides? Because <laughs> I'm gonna take sides here. Hey, there are no rules here. I choose Taryn. Ooh. I've been having a hard time. I'm gonna call it down the middle here. Wow. It's like Taryn is trying to call it down the middle there with a shot. Right to the jaw there. Right to the mandible, if you will, of Elliot Tyler. And Elliot Tyler is trying to find the animal in him, the Rottweiler, to fight back here. It looks like he has, he's got Taryn up top. It's a bit of a Death Valley driver situation there. He found just that. Mel Roach, as you can see here, it looks like he may be. No, he's continuing the onslaught. I thought he was going to go for the cover. Wow. Oh, and he took too long on that one. And now he's got Taryn by the hair there. Oh, and not by the hair of his chinny chin chin. And that oh. strike there, <laughs> a clothesline. What Vinny, a you cracked me head. up. <laughs> Look at that. The discus clothesline. A Brody Lee not in the cover. Ooh. Not enough. If you thought that was going to take Taryn down, you are wrong, good sir. Elliot Tyler being his own hype man here as a Rottweiler is going up top here to inflict more punishment. You've got to believe in yourself. Oh, and he was going for that 
Tilt a roll DDT, but Taryn is struck back. Knee to the chest. <laughs> Smart thinking there, taking him down. A couple pegs there. Taryn's off the ropes. <laughs> On a shining wizard on Elliot Tyler. That could be it there. Joe King is making the count. Two and not enough. Beautiful shining Taking wizard. Taking off his shirt. It's that time, folks. And it seems to me by the level of the beating that Elliot Tyler is getting at the moment here that he has not paid his taxes and <laughs> Taryn is looking to make him pay. He locks on. Will he reject the CRA's plea? Man, I hate the CRA. Me too. I mean, they're great people. Yeah, to great. If we, fi we file all of our taxes properly. Probably some government employees here listening in. It's trying to get Taryn way oh. up high Come to on. put her down for good. Oh. A power bomb off the top by Elliot Tyler. Oh my! What's going on here? It's just to the cover there! It's just not enough! What will be enough to put away Taryn from accounting? And Joe King was getting jeered there by one of the crowd wow. participants here at the Rickshaw Theater. Once again, the beautiful Rickshaw Theater hosting as our home base for Wrestle Park. Oh. And look at that bump. Oh my goodness. And Taryn from Accounting is looking for the bottom line here. And she's nailed that on Elliot Tyler. That's got to be all she wrote here. Oh. That is it. <laughs> something good. Marvel of the Greeks. This man is 
with a high fly and death defying. Very, very skilled wrestler already coming off the hop here. Again, young in the game. He has been training for less than a year and he is already getting booked with major promotions. This kid is going places. Casey Barrera has been working hard and he's here to show Baroni a figure two perhaps. Nothing but respect for me. has had already his spill. Come on, Casey. Wait, sorry, again, are we supposed to be unbiased or I can have whatever feelings I want? I'm also gonna throw a bit here on Tony Baroni, let you know that, that man is very experienced, so Casey Barrera has his work cut out for him tonight. And Look at Casey though, he's got this. Tony's just see, you know what I'm mean? see? I'm already the head scissors there happening. the foot on the rope, but treachery over youth. I should say age and treachery over youth. Wow. You know, I'm a little bit upset being a heavy metal fan myself that Tony Baroni does not like the genre, and he has nothing to warrant that. Heavy metal is full of talent, full of explosive fucking... Is it? You, it is. Heavy metal is the pinnacle of Maybe music. Maybe we'll have to get in there and start fighting. Can you imagine that? I can't. Here. Come on, Casey Clown. 
Casey Ferreira. Look at this. Maroney looking the power into the vicious. German suplex there at Ferreira. Holy shit. Come on, Casey. I believe in you. Well, Casey will not need a spinal tap for many years to come because he just decimated his spine. Boo. Boo, I say. Boo earns here at the Rickshaw Theater. The Wrestleocalypse continues here. As Tony Baroni has the upper hand in the moment of the young Casey Ferreira. Baroni! Scoop slam with style. That's a Versucci scoop slam, if you will. Yeah! And Baroni with a bit of posturing. Big elbow drop on the sternum, and he felt that one. Trying my best to call down the middle here, but you know, Tony Baroni will not give up until his opponent is quite literally dead. So I hope the best for Casey Ferreira in this situation as Baroni's got a hold of it indeed. On oh, utilizing the hair there, tugging on the old lettuce, if you will. Let's go, Tony. And Baroni, like I told you, is always trying to kill his opponent, mangle them, maim them, whatever you want to do, or whatever you want to call it. Come on, Casey. He's very quick thinking onto the apron there, wow, looking good. he is a springy one. No, no. And he's sending the noggin of Baroni there, look at this. Springboard crossbody there on Baroni for the cover. Come on, Casey. Oh, oh and a lariat from hell. That was nuts. Come on, man. Please recover from that. That was. Oh, that was looking like a 14th century decapitation. That was absolutely disgusting. Baroni not holding back on Casey Ferreira. Give the man a break, will you? Baroni just handing it to Casey Ferreira. It's a casual slam there, putting him down to the mat. And Baroni is going up to the second floor of the Jersey Shore Hotel. And he thought he had his room reserved, but Casey Ferreira <laughs> seems to have the keys to the apartment. The master key. <laughs> wow. What? Guys. Come on, relax. Spanish <laughs> boy! Spanish okay. boy! Spanish boy! How many times do I have to say it? You do not know what you're going to see next at Destroy Wrestling World. This is some crazy shit, guys. Well, if we didn't know when the end of the world was, I would be almost certain that was it. <laughs> Because that Spanish that squad sent Baroni into another dimension. And you want to rally the crowd, that's going to be the way to do it with a big, big move there. Close by by Ferreira. Counter, <laughs> tilt a whirl, head oh scissors. And Tony Baroni's feeling the heat, and Ferreira is fired Come up on, indeed. On, Casey. From the burning embers on the top rope. Casey Ferreira oh. is caught in the midst. And Baroni. Quick counter there. Casey Ferreira's quick, dude. Very quick. Put that one to the noggin and a oh Brody, beautiful God. maneuver there. This is insane. Brody with a narrow escape there, going out the back door of the nightclub. He didn't pay 
cover, but he got in. Well, he didn't pay cover. He sure paid something now. He's paying his dues by the veteran Baroni, oh. but he's got him up there. Casey's a strong one. He was looking for the Oakland Black out there, but Baroni's counted it with his own maneuver. Oh. Herrera with a swing and a miss. No. Hello, that oh, boy! And Baroni! That's not a DVD, that's a straight to VHS! And he's got the cover on Casey Ferreira, not enough! Oh, Casey! Come on, you can make a comeback, baby! That may have went straight to VHS, but here we are, rewinding to the beginning, where the match is still underway. And Baroni looking for a massive power bump, and Ferreira to the roll! Quick yeah. on his feet, it's a Guri to the noggin of Tony Baroni. And look at this. Oh boy! Wow. There it is, the what? Oakland Rex Black Coach! child in the ring! Come on, oh. yes! Kick his ass! Rothschild was bringing the grease, but Ferreira saw it coming. Came around here and said, Evan fucking Rivers, and I agree. I 
also agree. Look at that jacket. You can't compete with that, babe. I mean, Stephen Crow, also strong jacket, but does it light up? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty sweet outfit either way. I mean, he's glowing in different respects. Look at that hot pink. You should see his nails too. Also, hotter pink somehow. It is so pink, you can barely even see it with the human range of this. Oh, oh, oh they're starting. Well, the power of the manicure has apparently <laughs> started already as Stephen Whoa, Crow is okay. attacking Evan Rivers viciously they in the are corner. Not wasting there. any time. Not at all. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my. Driving the knees. That is inconsiderate. Stephen Crow is supercharged at the moment here, and he's too hot to trot. Look at the pistols blazing there. Oh, and Evan Rivers catches him. That was nuts. Couldn't have called that ahead of time. That's <laughs> Well, Rivers with the ingenuity that fireman's carry there. Whoa. And he's going to do something nasty to Stephen Crow there. Return fire here. He is one high-flying motherfucker. Evan Rivers. Big move there on Stephen Crow. A twisting splash there, and that's not enough. Almost a quick victory there for Mr. Evan Rivers there. But Taryn is utilizing. Oh, Evan Rivers up in Taryn's face. I'm going to have to say, back off. <laughs> you know, you can always count on the clandestine society to throw a little shade on the outside. And, and look at that. You know what? Can't blame him. Can't blame him. And Stephen Crow just told us all to suck it, a la DX. You know what? Warranted. Yeah, I'll support it. I'll get behind it. Out for the DX thing when I was in uh, elementary school. We didn't know what we were saying. <laughs> Whoa. And Rivers. Imagine the athleticism. jumping that high. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I can barely jump over a broomstick. That's on the ground. <gasps> Sorry, whoa, I got excited. Goodness! Oh my god. These guys, these guys, man. Rivers is in phase here. He's going for the attack there. A nasty clothesline. And that roll up to gain a little space between him with that flying back elbow there and a Steven Crow. I'll drink to that. And Rivers maybe. has his target locked. But the missile was not dropped as Stephen Crow countered that one. Unruly. I disagree with what conspired. Does well, it matter as a commentator if I disagree? I mean, it's happening. <laughs> Magnum Mel Roach, thanks again for being with us tonight. I'm Vinny the Voice, and we're having an absolutely insane time. And we're looking at a power slam here from Evan Rivers on Stephen Crow. Evan Rivers, oh, shaking his booty at him. Oh my God, back Unbelievable what? height on that moonsault, <laughs> standing moonsault, if you will. How? Impressive. How, Vinny, how do you do that? Ah, oh, he doesn't skip leg day. How do you do to you that? I can barely do a cartwheel. Here's this guy. I can guy. do a round off on one side. Ooh. I'll take you up on that later, you can teach me. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> there are, their outfits. Magna Mel, we see. Oh, he's going for that. Yes! Couldn't pull up the supernova, but. Kick his ass, Stephen Crow. Sends the knees into the back of Evan Rivers. Not enough there. The cover, and Joe King is telling him no go. Stephen Honestly, Crow. this is an instance of box oh blonde versus natural blonde. And you know what? I hope the box blonde wins again, showing my alliances. And I'm not even, I'm not even sorry. Oh, it looks like we got a balayage fan here next to us. It's <laughs> Stephen Crow with that clothesline in the back of the skull. You know, once again, in a Taren lawless from land. Accounting. She's get, getting ready. What a surprise. Taryn, please, please get off the apron. This is a one versus one match, a singles match. Stephen Crow, belt buckle, too shiny. It's too shiny. That should be illegal. He's got more bling in that 
belt buckle in all of Tony Baroni's outfit. The Versucci tracksuit. <laughs> Evan Rivers with a kip up there. And Versucci. <laughs> Versucci. <laughs> it looks like the posturing is not Whoa. gonna lend well. As he's sending those forearms in the back. And he's looking for a supernova. And he Taking nails it. That belt right off of his outfit. That's crazy. Though. Joe King, he's got a seven count on him. Turn your ass around. We got a match to call. Even Cobra Kai's in here yelling, like, what's going on? Turn yourself around, Joe King. <laughs> Whoa. Unbelievable. Northern Star, your jacket is too fucking shiny. It's, it's very full of itself. Rhinestone well, Cowboy, that's just, it's good. It's good. Stephen Crow was exuding I'm his biased. own confidence. And it looks like he's Whoa. got that one. Oh. Once again, slaps. What is this? UFC? Oh my! Oh, that was definitely ultimate fighting champion. We called it an ultimate clothesline. And Stephen Crow's head just flew off into the crowd. Wow, I wish. Whoa! And there's an exploder suplex. Beautifully executed by the Northern on? Star. Destroy Wrestling 3. A hot night here full of chaos and disorder. And it's continuing. I love that for them. I love it. Caught in a landslide of kicks here by Evan Rivers. Winding up for one more. Steven Crow with the dodge. Swing and a miss at Evan Rivers. Nicely executed plant of a kick to the lower abdomen of Stephen Crow. And looks like Taryn from Accounting is once again meddling in the plans of the singles Get out match. Of there, Taryn. I love you, but this is not your time, babe. Whoa. People are getting out of the way. They know something. Well, you better hurry if you want to live. Because yes. Evan Rivers is looking for Evan something. Rivers. Evan Rivers! Oh! Huge somersault over the top rope! Into the crowd of the ring shot theater! And the Northern Star may not be done here! signaling the end of Steven Crow. Is he gonna do it? That is a question. There's a counter there. Counter the fisherman's neck breaker and Kevin Rivers with a brain buster on Steven Crow. The counter there, two. Not enough to put him away. This is absolute pandemonium here in the rickshaw. As the war wages on, I am surprised that there's not more participation here by the clandestine society. And daddy issues is singling a rise to start him here by Mr. Evan Rivers, the Northern Star. And Evan Rivers. It's going top shelf, penthouse suite. Oh my God, look at the elevation that he missed. Wow. On the moon 
moonsault. Steven Crow, the shining wizard there. Oh, oh my God. Crow looking for a oh. The tiger bomb of sorts, and that might be it. No. No, Terran, get out of there. Don't make me hate Steven you. Steven Crow is pissed. And what kind of shenanigans is going on Whoa, stage fighting here? Fighting with the band? Okay, guys, don't fight with daddy issues. Just let him happen. This is typical behavior of people with daddy issues. Don't have to tell me to be skinny. I think like a psychiatrist to see what's going on there. Ms. Magna Melroach. Oh. Look at this. Surprise! Oh. Right to the front door of Taryn. He FedExed that slap right to the face. Guitar? <laughs> I hope not. That may have been a Gibson Les Paul right across the noggin. That's the energy on here for oh. Oh. back in the ring gently, quietly. Well, that's one way to do it. There's no drama here, only vibes. And by vibes, I mean camaraderie. Come on, only go. violence! <laughs> Pop up cutter by Evan Rivers, and he's not done. Destroyer, Canadian destroyer on Stephen Crow. Stephen Crow needs to revive himself, but Taryn from impounding has already got a hold oh, of that situation. No, Taryn, don't do me like that. Daryl's prize guitar. Wow. From the annals of the Heavy Metal Museum. You never know what's going to happen in professional wrestling. And look at Stephen Crow going for the good, the bad, the ugly. He's going for the cover on Evan Rivers. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what an upset. did what he could to get that one in the bag, but the clandestine society is once again put one over. One of your two main events of the evening is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, your first contender. She is the Rain City Stretcher. Give it up for Liza.
Projected the clandestine society in close proximity. Breaking the chains tonight! 
Magna Melrose. What are we gonna see? Those chains are very ominous. Could never be me. MRB defending his title. Magna Mel Roach here next to me, I'm Vinny the Voice. And now, now called the stipulation, apparently. And speaking of stipulations, there are none for this match. This is hardcore as it gets. The stipulation and the bituation. <laughs> I like it. It just might stick. <laughs> Referee Justin Sider here is looking to get this match underway. And Funny Bone hanging 10 there. Michael Richard Blaze kissing his prize chalice, if you will, the championship, the title of WrestleCore, the Funny Infinity Bone, Championship. Very casual about all of this. I, I, I sense some confidence. A frightening casualness to him, if you will. Okay. And the Clandestine Society is blocking our view here to no surprise as they're hanging outside. They don't want us to see what's really happening. Uh, yes. There's always a game plan. And here we go. These guys are sick. This crowd has lost their mind. Is there no order here anymore? No. Well, That's I what we've been it. talking about since the beginning, <laughs> Vinny. There's no fucking order. There's only chaos here in the Wrestleocalypse. I was just checking. Thank you. Thanks for checking in. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to die tonight. Yeah? They're going to come this way? Because I also volunteer. Whoa, okay. Funny bone, what's happening there, buddy? Michael Richard plays in the center of the ring, is egging on Funny Bone, looking for possible opportunity to strike. This is a calculated man we're talking about here. A very cerebral wrestler. And that is why they're the main event. Indeed it is the main event here. Magno Mellon, we're looking for something. Justin Sider, the bell, the bell the here. Funny wow, bone. ref Justin, that's surprising. Funny bone right outside. Just like that, and he returns with a chair to Justin Sider. Oh, no. Is that legal, Vinny? What Anything's just legal here. here. Justin Sider has just died, uh, and his corpse has now disappeared under the ring as Joe King is, is looking on where it looks like he's gonna have to step in to continue the match here. Swing and a miss there. Michael Richard Blaze with a quick pick in the counter, and now he's got control. Funny Bone has control. Yes. Michael Richard Blaze. Yes, Funny Bone. Both opponents looking good here in the kip up by Funny Bone. Oof. The disrespect. The that clandestine society must be reeling right now. Look at the disgrace to Michael Richard Blaze. Oh, there. Oh, this man is sick. A little bit sick. of nipple grazing. Whoa, a little bit more. They're grazing the raisins, as they say, you know, and uh, Do they say that? <laughs> they do now. And Funny Bone is just Whoa, as twisted. is it this kind of show? Oh my uh, God! Michael Richard plays. Okay, there. Whoa! Uh, looks like both of these men are going to be going to the clinic here on Monday. This is a little niche show for us here. His bodily fluids have been exchanged. It doesn't seem like they got excited immediately. <laughs> MRB with a quick kick and Funny Bone returns as well with those forearms right to the face. A jumping knee there right to the chops of your savior. MRB struggling to stay afloat here. And Funny Whoa. Bone there with a proverbial magnum to the dome, execution style. Magnum, that's me. That is you. And I'm Minnie the Voice. Hello. Hello. 
This is the main event, as our grand host, Cobra Kai, has stated. And the ropes have been replaced by that heavy chain. Oh, the heavy stomp. Quite dirty. To the digits. I thought the only person that cared about digits was Taryn, and she is an accountant after wow. all. Wow. Good segue into a little comeback. And Funny Bone can count. Absolutely mind blowing. Whoa. The man is a barbarian. <laughs> but Michael Richard plays. Returns a favor there. Oh, and a stomp to the skull, quite literally. A Funny Bone. As our Infinity Champion is putting the boots there. Oh my God. To the man from Las Vegas, Nevada, known as the Demigod. MRP. Known as your Demigod. Oh, right, so again, I'm not a religious man, but... Uh, I am. All right, now. I'm starting to think that you actually believe in the clandestine society. That is a cult of religion, you know, you know this. I believe in a lot of things, and you know what? I haven't gotten my own hands on this book that MRB is, is so frequently preaching, but you know what? Well, Maybe I could get behind it. I, I, I truly could not tell you right now, but maybe in the future. Well, Michael Richard Blaze believes in violence. I know that much as he just tried to choke the life out of Funny Bone. If you like wrestling, don't you love violence just a little bit at least? Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty messed up myself. I love it. Oh yeah, spy buster by MRP. The return blaze. Wow. Rocket fuel forearms there. One. You know, Funny Bone is a sick bastard, as we have reiterated, but Michael Richard Blaze may be able to match him in that department. There is really something going on here. Michael Richard Blaze, what is this a are plan you doing? Of sabotage? This oh, is look, look at that this. is the act of a saboteur. Do you see the clandestine society? Oh, no. I okay, see him laughing. Oh yeah, look at what? this. <laughs> what is transpiring right now? I think there's something a little bit suspicious going on. Yeah, you think? I think those bottom ropes are being, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. I think they might be. Loosen for something, like again, you said a, a sabotage, that sounds about right. Tearing up to no good. Michael Richard Blaze seems to have control in this situation. <gasps> Sick and twisted indeed, and MRB getting sent Whoa, over that second row outside. the photographers run. Oh my God! Doesn't give a damn about anybody involved. Good, you shouldn't. Oh! My! And what is going on outside here? We're trying to get a scope on the chaos that's being transpired. And Funny Boy, he's got a stapler. He's got a stapler. And nothing good can come of this. Where did he get a stapler? Who gave that to him? I think that is a little bit awkward. I'm going to guess he went to Staples. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor us, Staples. No, I don't like him. I don't like pressing the easy button. Get back in here. Money, 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 money. Get back in here, come on. Oh. Those are bare minimum three inch staples. And those will not feel good. Into the flesh of Michael Richard plays. Joe King is trying to restore order once again on this lawless land. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! This is sick. Funny Bone confidently making his way into the crowd. Uh oh. We got action What's here. What's his plan? Action here on the right side, and MRB is. On the tail, a funny bone. He's got that sniper on the back. No, no. Oh, oh. Referee Joe King following them into the crowd. What is going on? They are going into the aisleways. Is that appropriate? Is that normal for a show? I'm, I'm a little bit. I, I don't even know how to feel right now. A 
about Tour de Crowd here. Tour de Crowd. I, I love that. No, Vinny, the voice, you are fucking killing it over there. Thank you, Magna Mel. I appreciate it. Right back at you, my friend. Magna Mel Roach. That's and me. Can you believe what's transpiring here? I can't. At the rickshaw. Truly, I cannot. So again, this, this is, is beyond home base. comprehension. And we are professionals. Something like that. <laughs> He's professionally stapling. Michael Richard Blaze there. This is absolute insanity. A loss of blood is beginning to form. Oh, and all I hear is the clicks right now. I can't see what's going on, but I can hear it. Our view is obstructed by the crowd, and you know what? Good for them. I'm glad they get front row seats to whatever's happening up there. And you know what? I hope they get back in the ring so we can also see what's happening up there. I want to see more staples. An assault that continues on the outside. And Michael Richard Blaze at a, what appears to be a Canadian $5 bill that's wow. most likely going to be attached to the body of Funny Bone. Nothing funny about that, let me tell you. Oh, no, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, oh the sound, the clicking. This is the kind of stuff you're going to go to bed tonight, and that's all you're going to hear. It's the stuff of nightmares. I hope so. I hope this haunts your fucking dreams. And that seems to be a respectable amount of cash on the back of Funny Bone. That Michael Richard Blaze has decided to attach. This is awesome. Funny Bone being a man of pain, a man that enjoys pain. Now Michael Richard Blaze. Funny Bone has that stapler pointed. What the point fuck blank. is happening right now? Who is that? Who's that trying to get into the ring? Is that Daddy Issues? Point blank. Daddy what? Issues trying to sneak in oh, every no. avenue? No. We must subliminate. Oh, no. Please don't Funny do bone. this. That $5 bill. Oh, no. Right the plums of your savior. That's only like $3 American. But you can't, oh, you the can't see loonies. loonies and doonies to someone's for it. <laughs> uh, that is roast absolutely on the disgusting. Canadian dollar. Ooh, funny bone, he's getting it. He's getting ready. Michael Richard Blaze is enraged after those staples to the balls. That is absolutely sickening and oh my goodness. Night, night, motherfucker. They're looking for the Demon Valley driver, but Michael Richard Blaze. Oh, my! Welcome to Salvation in the cover. I cannot believe that's not enough. Michael Richard Blaze there. With a signature maneuver there. And could not put Funny Bone out for good. Once again, the Infinity Championship is on the line here. And Michael Richard Blaze is a balance on top. Referee Joe King, that, that casual but firm. No, 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 no. <laughs> the galvanized chance and a 450 splash. Got out of that one quick and funny bone with that. He right to the chops of MRB. Oh, the oh my god. That is sick. That is sick. Whoa. Oh my. What? Uh, the clandestine society interfering in the match. And you know what? Maybe I should say that more quietly since I support it. Telling the crowd to clear out of there. And Buddy Bone just springs over the top on MRB. On the cold, hard concrete of the rickshaw. Joe King is trying to restore order to this madness, and Michael Richard plays that spin kick right to the gut. A funny bone. And it looks
looks like Michael Richard Blaze just sent the knee straight into the head of Joe King, effectively killing him immediately. There's one kick to the face here. Whoa! <laughs> Richard Blaze, quick thinking. Barrage of knees. Oh my God. And he's looking for that rolling stampede there. MRB once again going top shelf on the top of that galvanized steel. Magnum Mel, what are we gonna see here? I have no idea right now. <gasps> A counter. Straight in the cojones of Mike Vinny, Richard this Blaze. this is too intense for me, I think. You know what? Oh my. Oh. I think these chains are a little bit more than what I can handle. And funny bone. Oh my! Demon Valley driver, he's going for the cover here, but nobody is here to officiate. Oh my god. Nobody is here. What? Who is in the ring right now officiating this? This is unbelievable. Clandestine society, I feel like maybe. I'm sorry, the lights are on, but nobody's home and nobody is here to end this match, quite possibly. Joe King is Refi a Mark corpse. getting in the ring right now. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is inappropriate. Funny bone. Kicking Refi Mark in the face. Mark is also effectively murdered now and his time of death looks like 11.42 p.m. after that super kick square in the face. That is disgusting. I'm disgusted, Vinny. One person who's not disgusted with his deeds is Funny Bone as he's going up top to try and end this and become the Infinity Champion of WrestleCore. And a miss on the stomp there. And, oh goodness, please, not enough. I don't know how many referees we have left. And there's an uppercut to one of our referees. Stiff forearm, stiff forearm. We better clear out because something big is happening here. Fighting on the apron, funny bone of Michael Richard Blaze. That high kick there to MRP. Oh, no, no, no. You can't do that. You can't do that. Can you not do oh, that? The oh, the driver my. on the apron. Wow, there is blood. There's blood on the face of Funny Bone. There will be blood. It was guaranteed tonight, and we're seeing it here. Glad we're not in the splash zone for this one. Look yeah, at I'm Funny gonna, Bone, he's wet. I'm happy about that. Wet, but at what cost? Oh my! Oh my god! Hit by a referee. How many guitars do we oh have? Oh my about? god! The referees are laying the boots! They're laying the boots to Funny Bone right now! There truly is no more order. The referees have fought back. They've had enough of the abuse, of the torment. And Michael Richard Blaze is a self-appointed winner tonight. I don't know what's going on here right now. What the hell is happening, Mel? I have no idea, Vinny. This is uncalled for. Oh, on, MRB! What? Has had it up himself and he's sending the referees. Oh my god. To their doom. I think there's some dirty fighting happening, Vinny. I have not seen this kind of madness before in a ring. This is unhinged. But standing in the midst, in the fog, is referee Joe King. Oh. What is he doing? Oh my God, Joe King. Oh Joe my King! God! A destroyer. Some lines have been crossed. A destroyer. You know what? And Funny Bone is the going up top here, taking going advantage. Wild. They are losing their minds. Oh! No! The stop to Michael Richard Blades. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I'm at a loss for words right now. This is true chaos. And MRB kicks out in the nick of time. Michael Richard Blade just barely escapes the cover there by the demigod. And Joe King is the only referee in the ring at the moment. The rest have disappeared into the fog. Magnum Mel, what are we about to see here? As once again, Funny Bone is on the outside looking for his bag of tricks. There's absolute debauchery in the ring right now. There's chairs. Looks like potato chips. I don't know what the hell is going on in there. It's like a snack bar. And the canvas is being removed. And one more layer of the canvas is being removed wow. to expose the hard surface what that the is below. What the fuck is happening? Whoa, I didn't, I just suddenly retuned into what the shit, the fuck, shit, fuck is going on right now. Bitch, I have to fix that later. <laughs> now we Funny about stop! Stop it! That is insanity! Stop the chaos! No! No, this is not even regular kayfabe anymore! Fucking stop it, sir! Nuh uh! No! Oh. Expose the boards beneath. I'm spitting everywhere because this is insane to me. This is where the pain begins. Let me tell you right now, there is nothing there to protect anybody's body. is absolutely not okay because MRB, oh. that's sent on there. This is insane. Using the piece of the chair and he did it. Michael Richard Blaze has retained the title! Winner, you